what is going on guys Carlos here from everything tech and in this video we're going to uh, remove the FRP lock on a Galaxy S8 with Android 8 so as you can see uh, my one is locked with my own account I'm just testing things out to see if it's possible if there's enough information around for people to remove the the Google account in case they forget their password and I'm gonna do this with a series of phones I've got loads of phones at my um, at my disposal so I'll be able to uh, to uh, do it with many many different phones so you guys can see just how easy it is to remove it so the first thing we're gonna do is put this phone into download mode we have got, gonna have we are gonna have to change it over to uh, recovery mode but volume down Bixby button and power button hold them in you will go like on a as a screenshot if the phone is on but then you will uh, shut down and you will go into this mode that you see now then if volume up we'll put it in download mode so as you can see uh, the phone is in download mode everything the FRP lock is on this video is filmed in 4k by the way so you should be able to if you put it in full screen you should be able to see the little letters in the screen uh, because I, sh I forgot to show it to you uh, uh, right up close to the camera so now we're gonna go on the computer and we're gonna open up Odin and uh, we're gonna load up a firmware which is a combination firmware and this is where you're gonna if you pay attention now you might learn something like I did learn not long ago and this is so you won't get the wrong firmwares all the time and download like a three gigabyte firmware just to find out that it's not the right one so there's very many different uh, versions of the firmware and you can see that on the on the firmware uh, title itself so you will say like the the model of the phone uh, and uh, it will say a U1, U2 or U3 and that's what you have to watch out for but I'll show you in a minute so let's uh, let's now go into recovery mode to find out exactly what our phone is in uh, I think I've got the latest firmware which was released with the latest patch in mid of August 2018 so that's the latest latest firmware so this video will apply to you and all the links in the description are related to this video so uh, I will put like uh, the firmware link and the combination firmware link and the uh, FLP unlocker and in order to get it into recovery mode we're gonna need to press volume up Bixby button and power button and then once the phone boots up release the power button and keep on pressing volume up and Bixby button and it will go into the uh, a recovery menu so in a recovery menu this is where we see in what firmware applies to the device that we have and to the to the software that is installed on the device this is obviously Android 8 but there's many revisions of Android 8 and uh, we have revision U3 and I can show you that now as you can see right there um, I've made this mistake numerous times so it's 8 then as you can see my one is the Galaxy S8 G950F XX and this is the less the next two letter and number are the revision U3 so your combination firmware or any firmware that you install on the device must have U3 or it will fail in Odin uh, so if you've got a different version so you're going to need to find a combination version that will have the version that you have sort of thing if that makes any sense um, so now let's go back into download mode so volume down Bixby and power button and uh, the phone will go into download mode and then just press volume up button uh, to go into download mode so now we're gonna go um, we're gonna go on the computer now and we're gonna load up the combination firmware as you can see it's got the U3 on there uh, you might not be able to see it, but if you if you pause it, you'll see that it's got the U3 on there, so you won't fail. I sped up most of this video in, of the installation because it, it's pointless to uh, uh, make you go through five minutes worth of, of install. It's probably not five minutes, but three three and a half minutes that it takes to install the firmware because these firmwares are getting much much bigger uh, as the phones you know get more and more complex. So once it's finished installing the combination firmware, well, let's go back on the phone. Now this part is all done on the phone. As you can see, there's going to be some purple writing on the top left. That's perfectly normal. Just keep going. And uh, what we're going to do next is um, is we're going to go uh, and wait for it until you see the binary firmware installing. 
and uh, there we go factory binary uh, and this is like a basic firmware that will get you to activate a few things like uh, ADB mode and um, uh, USB debugging uh, in order for you to access the, the inner parts of the of the phone of the software in order to exploit it because that's what this is is exploit after exploit so like you, on the iPhone you get uh, jailbreak on the uh, on the galaxies you get a different thing which is uh, obviously FRP uh, related to this but there's obviously bootloader unlock and um, there's many many different things that you can do with the Samsung's and the Android phones so once you're here we're gonna go uh, to the menu and we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go right to the bottom developer options should be unlocked and just make sure that um, uh, USB debugging is going to be unlocked as well so just turn it off and back on just to make sure that it's going to be um, it's going to be all okay so once you do that you see the calculator right in the center on the bottom of the screen just click on that calculator there and then you will come up with a calculator sort of screen so it's star hash 0808 hash and that will open your USB settings choose DM plus ACM plus ADB and click reboot and that will restart the phone um, yeah that will restart the phone and bring you back to the factory binary again the factory binary screen which is the the binary firmware and uh, the next stage is done on the computer and all the links are in the description for the the factory firmware the factory binary firmware which is the combination firmware and the official um, 8 uh, Android 8 firmware for this phone and which is the latest one it was downloaded from uh, directly from Samsung and uh, it's uh, the, the the FRP unlocker so as you can see we're back on the phone again so now it's time to um, to uh, select the calculator once more star hash 0808 hash and let's see if DEM plus ACM plus ADB is on. If it is, click on OK. You'll come up with another screen. And then go, let's go on a computer with FRP uh, bypass. Right click on it, open as administrator. And you'll see like an error message at the end. That's perfectly fine. Just do it two or three times just to make sure that it's gone through. Uh, and uh, the firmware or the, the FRP has been um, exploited. I did it two or three times, uh, you know, it takes seconds, so you, you might as well just make sure that it's going to be done than to have to reinstall the firmware again, reinstall the, com the combination firmware, and it's just too much work for nothing. So once we've done that, we're going to put the phone back into download mode, so we're going to press the power button to turn it off first, and then um, the same uh, sequence of, of, uh, of buttons, the volume down button, the Bixby button, and the power button all at the same time until you get the warning screen and once you get the warning screen then it's time to press volume up button to get into download mode okay so now we're going to go back on the computer and launch Audin again uh, in order to install the latest firmware but there's a little trick that you need to do uh, in order to uh, to do this uh, so the BL, the bootloader uh, file, gets loaded onto the bootloader. And then you've got the AP file. You need to load that up as well. This one normally takes a little bit longer because it's a couple of gig, two, two and a half gig around that. And then the CP is the phone part, which is the modern part, which is going to go the normal CP. Uh, let's just wait for this firmware to load. Guys, uh, I hope you're really enjoying these videos uh, and these videos are helpful to you. If they are, please give me a like and uh, consider subscribing because that really helps the channel a lot and you, you propels me to make more videos. So let's load up the CP. It should be quick. And the CSC, we're going to choose Home instead of CSC. So don't choose CSC, choose Home. And open it up. And now it's time to load up the the firmware onto the device so once you've done all of that then just click on start and that should uh, load up the firmware without much trouble again I, I sped up most, most of this part as well in order to spare you the agony of having to watch 
um, a firmware installed on the device in real time. Uh, so once we did that, once we do that, now it's time to go and um, and just uh, load up the normal part of the phone until you get to the home screen. So now that that's all done up, and uh, the phone will start and reboot. It, it reboots a couple of times. It will come up with a blue screen saying it's rising, and then it will reboot again. And uh, once it reboots. Uh, sped up this part as well. Uh, you'll say installing system update goes up to 32% and then it reboots again, and that, that's all done. Uh, let's go and see exactly what happens next. This phones are really quick now. Installing the firmware on these phones is uh, much, much quicker than it used to be. So, Android is upgrading. Installing applications and now I put it back into real time so you guys can see so you get this screen here Just agree to the terms and conditions go up uh, Click OK and OK and then agree to the terms and conditions And that's it. It's clean completely clean nothing there uh, And we're gonna reset it uh, in real time Oh, I, I mean I sped up the part of resetting because it takes quite a bit of time but as you can see, everything is unlocked. Uh, the software is version 8, Samsung Experience version 9. And as you can see, everything is in there. So let's go and uh, reset the phone now and uh, see what happens once it resets. If it still asks for the Google account or if uh, it just bypasses all of that and you can install it without connecting to Wi Fi even. So I sped up this part of the video here as well, and uh, just to make it a bit more bearable. But so you can see, still see that it's actually, I've not moved the phone, everything is, you know, as it should be. You know, there's no trickery in here, this just works as it is. If you do have problems installing it, please let me know, leave me a comment down below in the comments uh, section, and I will reply to as many comments as I can. Because I know this is a very new phone, it's very popular. And it, it, since it's got the latest firmware, somebody forgets their password. You know, it costs quite a bit of money to get this uh, to get this fixed. You know, it's possible, but people will charge you quite a bit of money to do it. So now we're at the beginning of the the, the install. So accessibility is already there. So you should be able to just connect without uh, just bypass everything without having to connect to Wi-Fi. Um, and that's it, really. I guess that's uh, that's it for this video guys so I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like and please consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this like I said before I have got quite a few fonts to go through um, and the next one will be the NXperia L1 which is much much simpler than uh, the galaxies the galaxies are quite difficult fonts in terms of you having to reinstall all sorts of things uh, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.